In this video let's see the overall process and eligibility criteria for PMP application. Based on your education qualification you need to demonstrate different level of project management experience. If you are an experienced project manager and holding a secondary degree, like high school diploma, associate's degree, or the global equivalent, then you need at least 5 years of project management experience with 7,500 hours of leading and directing projects. On the other hand, if you have 4 year degree, then you need at least 3 years of project management experience with 4,500 hours of leading and directing projects. If you meet this eligibility criteria, as a next step, you need to take the 35 hours of project management education from any of the registered education provider, who are known as REP, and earn 35 PDU. The courses are available in classroom training, boot camp, online courses and podcasts. After receiving the PDU, you can prepare and submit your application either online or in paper. But online application is more recommended due to the ease and fast response time. In the application you need to provide the breakup details of projects and time spent on each of the five project phases, initiation, planning, execution, monitor and control, closing. You can apply online at this link. The time frame for processing online submitted application is 5 days and you will receive an email from PMI to proceed with your PMP certification process. In the email you will get the link to make the fee payment. The fee is, 405 US dollars for PMI member and 555 US dollars for non-PMI members. It is recommended to become the PMI member not only for the exam cost benefit, but for the other numerous benefits. Cost for becoming a PMI member is 129 US dollars. After making the payment, soon you will receive an another email from PMI which either shows green signal to go ahead and schedule the exam, or you caught an audit where you need to prove your experience mentioned in your application. There is no definite clause for picking the applications for audit, and as per PMI the applicants are randomly picked up. If you caught an audit, no need to panic. It is just an additional step to prove your experience. To clear the audit, you need to submit the required proof for academic, 35 hours education, and work experience verification which should be endorsed by employers. After clearing the auditing, you will receive a unique PMI code that authorizes you to schedule the exam and, it is valid for one year. With this code, you can schedule your exam online, at any nearest pro metric center. The exam has 200 questions and you have given 4 hours to complete it. Among the questions 25 are pretest questions which are randomly placed in between the real questions. These 25 questions doesn't carry any marks but applicant need to answer all the 200 questions. Once you complete the exam, you will get the results immediately. If you pass exam, the system will give you one among the following 3 grades for each one of 5 process group below proficient, moderately proficient and above proficient. Below proficient grade indicates you have not cleared the exam and, it is mandate that you need to pass all the 5 process group with either moderately proficient or above proficient. Unfortunately if you fail, no worries. You can retake the exam for 2 more times. Re-exam fee is 275 US dollars for PMI member and 375 US dollars for non-PMI member. After successfully clearing the exam, you can download your soft copy of certificate from PMI website and, you will receive the physical certificate mailed to your address within 4 weeks. It's cool isn't it? Now you may think, after receiving the certificate, how can you maintain it? The certificate is valid for 3 years and you need to submit 60 PDU in a 3 year cycle to renew your PMP. The fee for renewal is 60 US dollars for PMI member and 150 for non-members. Thanks for watching this video, and hope it is helpful. If you like this video please hit the like, and subscribe for more knowledge sharing videos.